The fourth season of the spy drama Jack Ryan on Prime Video comes to a thrilling conclusion as the title character faces numerous difficulties in order to protect his nation and the people he cares about. This episode's uncover all the secrets and unexpected ways that force Ryan to reevaluate his role as a CIA agent and his control over situations like this. Although he nearly perishes while trying to expose the truth, his actions only serve to enhance his reputation as the heroic rescuer of the day. The series's conclusion leaves room for the character to grow. Here is what happens to the bad guys and what Jack Ryan's future holds. Spoilers ahead. After the mission in Croatia, Jack, Chavez, and Mike go to Myanmar. They'd received the coordinates from the code words in the same pattern Miller and his conspirators used. Mike is sent to make contact with Chow Fa at the Wukong Casino. Chow Fa reveals there are many other devices like the one they found in Croatia. To destroy them, they will have to make their way into the casino's vaults. He will help them with it, but no one should suspect his involvement. Unbeknownst to Jack, Kathy arrives in Myanmar at the behest of Zayara Lemus. Kathy thought she was assisting in charity work that would help the people in Myanmar. However, Zayara never cared about any of that. When she found out that Jack Ryan was working to shut down Pluto, she decided to have the upper hand on him when the time came. For this, she lured Kathy into her orbit. So, just when Jack is ready to target the vault, he will be distracted by Kathy. Chow Fa knows Zayara's plans, and he knows Jack will abandon the plan to save Kathy. So, he tells him beforehand. Chow Fa assures him that Kathy will be alive as long as Jack is alive, because she is the leverage. Zayara will not kill her until she's sure Jack is dead too. However, Jack is not satisfied with it, and comes up with a plan where he and Chavez go to the vault, while Mike goes to find and rescue Kathy. Once they have destroyed all the devices, Chow Fa takes them to his house to get his wife and daughter. By now, Tin Tun has figured out Chow Fa's plan, so he kills him. However, his family is saved, and Chow Fa tells Jack that the rest of the information about Pluto is with his wife and daughter. Kathy and Chow Fa's family are rescued, but Jack, Mike, and Chavez are left behind. Meanwhile, Greer locates Will Tutton. Who is the mole in the government? When Jack learned of initiatives like Pluto, he came to the conclusion that someone in a position of authority within the government had to be involved in order for them to exist. Only a select few in the government would have the authority to carry out a scheme like Pluto. Thomas Miller is the first link in the chain, and Jack subsequently learns that Zayara Lemus, well known for her humanitarian activities around the globe, is in charge of putting the entire scheme together. But it doesn't end there. Zayara was resourceful, but she lacked the authority to influence the former head of the CIA on her own. Herein lay the role of Ada Soji. He supplied Miller with the front firms that made it possible for Miller to generate revenue for projects like Pluto. Asoji also hired Will Tutton to do the dirty work required for the plan's success. Still, Asoji wasn't in the government and wouldn't have the power and resources to pull off certain things. It is when Ryan is trying to stop the shipment of cars carrying bombs through the border that Wright finds out the identity of the mole in the government. The shipment was greenlit at the last moment, which allowed it to be sent forward without going through the due process. The paper for its authorization was signed by Senator Henshaw, the chief of the committee that was pushing Wright and Ryan to stop corrupt practices in the CIA. In the next hearing of the committee, Ryan exposes Henshaw. The senator sided with the criminals because they helped him during his last campaign and would have done so for his next campaign. Ryan wonders if Henshaw knew what Zayara Lemus was trying to do with Pluto, the convergence of the triad and the cartel, and how it could harm America. In any case, he has publicly proved Henshaw's guilt, closing the book on his last mission. What happens to Ada Soji? In the fourth season, Ada Soji made his debut as an oil lobbyist who was very interested in Nigerian politics. Until she learns that he is the unidentified person paying for Dominic Sanderson's medical costs and using the young man's name to create shell firms through which Miller used the money to fund illegal black ops like Pluto, he succeeds in convincing Wright that he is someone she can trust. When the truth comes out, Asoji asks for immunity in exchange for telling them where Jack Ryan is being held following his kidnapping in Thailand. 
Wright and Greer don't know that Mike and Chavez are already working on a plan to rescue Jack. Greer advises Wright not to make the deal, but she is more concerned about Jack's safety. By the time Greer discovers that Jack has been rescued, Wright has already signed the immunity deal with Asoji. While the rest of the villains pay for their actions, it looks like Asoji might walk scot free of it. However, Wright finds another way to make him pay. She remembers him mentioning that the Mormon missionaries saved his village and helped him come to America. The Bible used to crack the codes used by Miller is the one used by Mormons. Through this, she links Asoji to Miller's death, and he is arrested for homicide. Asoji claims that even if his guilt is proven, he will not remain in prison for too long. However, his arrest is enough for Wright, and she states that she will continue to weed out people like him one by one. Does Jack Ryan leave the CIA? After publicly exposing Senator Henshaw, Jack Ryan declares he is taking a break from the CIA. When Greer asks him how long this break will last, he doesn't give a timeline. However, considering how close he came to dying in this mission, it makes sense if Ryan would want to spend some time with his loved ones and lead a quiet life with no danger to him or Kathy. Technically, he left the agency when he resigned from the post of the acting deputy director of the CIA. For the time being, he has no desire to go back to the agency. Wright, though, lets him know that she'll see him back on campus when he's ready, so he can come back whenever he likes.